<laughs> Our freaking Naruts are running around here. Split the blade out. I fucking love it. Whee! <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious. Well, what are we waiting for? For it to make its first move so I can precision dodge it. Hopefully. There we go. Oh, man. Fuck. I wish I precision dodged that. That would have been such an epic moment. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. I don't know what the hell is happening right now. But clearly, this thing is taking damage, and that's what's happening. That's what's important. Holy, that's a wallpaper right there. My God. Another meteor. Oh, but those are bitch meteors. <laughs> Ikea meatballs. All right, a trio of the best brothers. And that's right, trio, not duo. Because we know who the best brother is. He's a furry brother, a furry little guy. Off to save the world. And they all got the powers of the icons, right? Only icons allowed beyond this point. Only icons can do all the heavy lifting here. And we got Odin, finally, let's go. The power of darkness, my favorite summon ever in any Final Fantasy thing ever. <laughs> we got him. The power of darkness. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Odin's essence. But teaming with Odin not only changes the elemental aspect of uh, Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Gungnir, a frenetic flurry of attacks that damage all enemies within range. Okay. Odin's iconic feat, Arm of Darkness, can be used to temporarily transform Clive's weapon into Odin's legendary blade. That's so sick. Yeah, that's the blade that Barnabas was using, and Odin, of course. Lightning attack slowly charges the blade, readying it for Zontazukin, of course. Uh, the sickest summon ultimate ever, which is executed by holding square. Zontazukin potency is determined by the blade's charge at the time of execution. Yeah, that shit looks insane. So, yeah, the attack that he was doing that looked like something Virgil would do from Devil May Cry, that's, that's basically the attack that's Zontazukin. That's so sick. Man, I can't believe it. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. All right, sounds good, Joshua. You like me the sound of that. But I also like me the look of this. All the icons, all neatly arranged. The powers are all ours. Hopefully not Ultima. This is exactly what Ultima wants. But I love the color scheme for Odin. Oh, that is a lovely looking magenta. Man, I gotta say, ever since... I saw Blade Runner 2049 and, uh, you know, played the sequel to uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Survivor, and I got the magenta lightsaber. Magenta has slowly but surely become one of my favorite colors ever. Right. I just love its... I, I just love the color. <laughs> and its use in certain um, settings and, you know, types of media and stuff. Like, magenta is really winning in 2023. It really is. Yeah, and I freaking love... One of the other reasons I love it is because of how it's used in the cyberpunky settings, right? That's like my favorite type of world, my favorite type of aesthetic and setting in, in fiction. And you have all these crazy bright pink or magenta lights everywhere, these neon ones and all that kind of stuff and all the billboards and advertisements. And um, I love the way it's used in certain things and and pretty much everything. And, even, and over here, we got like this really cool sort of like purple magenta mix to like um signify odin here and and it just looks so it looks so freaking pretty i love it <laughs> yeah we're gonna leave it at that 2023 is definitely a winning year for magenta hell yes so what is this uh arm of darkness that's his ultimate right or hang on the bottom one is the ultimate i keep forgetting yeah, the bottom one is usually the ultimate, so holy shit, the ultimate is so cheap compared to upgrading his passive for 5,000. So, replace Clive's current weapon with Odin's blade? Oh my fuck. Can straight up swap out Clive's weapon for Odin's blade with circle, I guess? Yeah, landing abilities, the arm of darkness fills with fills a Zontazukin gauge. Full square to execute Zontazukin. Right, 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 right. So, we read that. Dang, Heaven's Cloud, what the frick? That reminds me of that one ability from Final Fantasy VII Remake, where Cloud can kind of, like, zip between enemies. Uh, I forget what it was called for Cloud. Um, it was one of his moves. I, I forget if it was, like, 
what kind of move it was. I kind of forget the gameplay, like the tiny gameplay mechanics of that. I got to play it again, but I remember Cloud had a move where he could do that. Uh, Gungnir. Holy shit. <laughs> Go absolutely haywire with these sword slash type abilities. Summon a legendary spear Gungnir. Oh, right. That's the spear one. And execute an extended flourish of deadly slices and strokes. Each hit landed fills the Zanthizuken gauge. That's so cool. Rift Slip. That's the uh, third one we can buy. Use to recover immediately from any ability or action. Oh, cool. So you don't you can like immediately reset your character model for the next next command. Second blade and unleash a flurry of attacks. Each hit landed significantly fills his Antizuken gauge. So this is basically like a cracked out version of Gouge from the Gruita tree. You just go to town absolutely slicing and dicing folks. Okay, man. Oh man, now we are back to that whole crazy phase where we gotta, after getting a new icon, where we have to make the toughest decisions known to man, right? We gotta make the decisions of what to put where, how to configure what, when, when it comes to all of our abilities here. Um, I mean, we don't have to, but I really want to start using freaking Odin here as my favorite summon ever. Uh, who are we swapping here? Dang. Again, we need Deadly Embrace. This is like... You know, despite all the flashiness that we're seeing so far of Odin, um, I I want to I want to be able to say confidently, even though we haven't used any of his abilities yet, that this will still trump everything. Deadly embrace. We are not getting rid of that. Odin is all about Zanthazukin, one hundred percent. Yeah, he's definitely all about. I I take it getting his abilities to basically charge that up and then unleash it, right? Which is really interesting to me, and I definitely want to give that a whirl. But I have such a good setup right now that, dang, I don't know what I want to swap here. Hmm. Do we max Flames of Rebirth? Hang on. One thing I'm realizing is I don't actually mind swapping off the Phoenix Tree for, what's his name, Odin? As long as I can keep Flames of Rebirth for a little bit, just for that HP regen. Because I do like the ult. If I haven't mastered, that's possible. Flames of Rebirth is up here, my bad. I totally could master that right now for 5k. Because I have 5k. But then I miss out on being able to buy these if they're worth buying. Well, we're going to get ability points really fast. So you know what? I'm going to make a decision here. Let's do this. I'm going to master that. We're going to go here. We're going to swap... Phoenix for Odin. We are going to keep Flames of Rebirth. And as far as the square ability goes, what do you want to mess around with here first? Gungnir, the Spear, or Heaven's Cloud? I feel like I want to do... I remember I used to fucking love doing this ability in Final Fantasy VII Remake as a cloud. Right. Once again, I forget exactly how he would do that ability, whether it was tied to like a weapon or if it was a materia that allowed him to do it, but I used to always love dashing to enemies like this, so I might actually play with that. I'm liking the vibe of that from what I'm seeing. And we'll we'll play around with this later on. We'll right now we're just gonna take this out for a spin, see what's what, how everything works. But okay, this is awesome. So now we're in the Odin tree. So, you'll always have that Zantzuken gauge on the left, which is kind of fucking awesome, and all the abilities contribute towards that. And then what does it say to actually trigger that? How do we unleash it? Uh, let me just remind myself here. Whole square, okay. This is all right. time to rise. I am so stoked. Let's fucking... Let's fucking get it. Bring it on. Bring it on, baby. All right, Akashic, now is not the time to bail on me. You guys are all pouncing on me when I didn't need you to pounce on me, but now I definitely need you to pounce on me and my blade to be more specific. All right, let's get out there. Dippity doo dippity doo. Skedaddle, skadoo. 
Oh, we got side quests. Got a little side quest up there. That's the only one it looks like. Let's check it out. I'm curious, by the way, if at this point we're able to... Oh, we can fast travel back to wherever we want to go still. But no, we'll keep going. Bodies up ahead and one living body. On the side of humanity still. Is there no peace for a dying man? What happened here? The ether floods made savage priests of my companions. And those faithless orcs, I knew they weren't to be trusted. We were told that they would stay loyal to our cause. Something commanded their loyalty, but it was not us. It's a wonder they stayed faithful for so long. Perhaps they sensed our downfall. The king is gone, our nation in ruins. <laughs> what becomes of us loyal pawns now? Sworn to a shattered throne. Fuck Wallowed. <laughs> Fuck the dead king and his god. <laughs> Fuck this withered shit. That's awesome. They definitely ripped that line straight from Game of Thrones. What the hound says. The floods do not affect you. Oh, he's quitting his station as King you Kingsguard. Are error, albeit one has lost his brand. Pray, hear me, brother. Will you grant this pawn his final wish? Will you lay my dying soul to rest? Gladly, sir. Of course. What do you need? Oh, finally, some luck. Beyond the castle walls, towards stone here, there is a forest. Never turn. Never turn. My parents are buried upon the bluff, nestled amongst the trees. Theirs was the only love I ever knew. I was torn from them in life. But perhaps I can return to them in death. Take my ring. See that it rests beside their bones. Poor guy. May you find peace at last. All right. Let's transport that ring. Get him to reunite with the familia. Bury the ring at the grave of the soldier's parents. Dang, that grave is pretty far away. That's even further than where we gotta go. Holy guacamole. Sending me across the entirety of this land here to get to those graves. I feel like I'm a porter in Death Stranding, just crossing the realm of the dead. Try not to get eaten alive by the dead. Transporting these goods, these, this me. cargo. The only way to the capital is through that gate, just as you surmise. Oh, there's an army down there, Joshua. Heard a bit of the yes. prelude in there. But I don't see any dominance. One thing I love about this game is it's, yeah. See, like there. You always hear the prelude, like every two musical tracks you hear in this game is some variation of the prelude theme of Final Fantasy, right? I want to say that like out of all the Final Fantasies I've played, right? This game is the one to use that the most. I could be wrong because I haven't finished a lot of the games, but from what I've experienced myself, this game is, is the one to use it uh, the most out of any Final Fantasy game. And I love it, because it's always got such creative uses of the theme for all these different, um, you know, emotional situations. All these different tones and stuff. All right, let's go. Time to take Zantazuka now for a spin here. Heaven's Cloud, can we own? Oh, wait, we can actually bring him down to us? All right, these freaking pesky flying enemies are no longer going to be pesky. Okay, but... 
how to actually get up there without Phoenix Shift. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, yeah, Circle takes it out, and now I have this really long blade to charge up Zantazuken. Oh, snap! <laughs> Our freaking Naruto running around here. Put the blade out. I fucking love it. Whee! <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious. That's pretty fucking awesome. Alright, Chocobos. I really didn't want him to come to this, but, but this is kind of necessary. Oh, I'm totally going to hell for this. Oh my god, yeah, it changes your dash when you do X and Square. Put the blade out, it's so cool. I'm totally murdering this Chocobo right now. Alright. Zantazuken so level 3. Thankfully he's alive. Look at that, at least he's good, you know, his health bar went to zero, and now it's full again. So, hey, I'm not guilty of nothing. Alright? You guys saw nothing. It didn't happen. Got the HP to prove it. There's no Chocobo Massacre going on here. Hyena, okay. Now this, I can feel a little less bad about. So whole square. Or not. Hang on. Oh, we gotta take it out first. And now we whole square. Oh, snap. Okay, that was Joshua. I was, like, fucking freaking out there for a second. I was like, where the hell did all that fire come from? Does Odin have some fire attack I didn't know about? And then that was Joshua right behind me. <laughs> Man, but that's so fucking sick. But, like, once you unsheath this, every single normal attack you usually do is done by this sword. It's done differently, obviously, and then it just looks so much more epic. <laughs> I cannot get over how it even changes your lunge attack. Man. Odin's, Odin is pretty fucking awesome so far. Slowly creeping up on that S tier if I had to make a tier list out of all of my favorite icons. Alright. Work fodder. Oh, he's fodder alright. For my blade of death. Hiya! This attack is just never going to get old. Okay, there we go. Heaven's Cloud. Pull that off a little. Alright. Let's unleash ourselves here. Hiya! Unleash the darkness. Oh my god. We got a trophy too. That just annihilated them, man. I guess he can't um, burst attack with the blade out. Well, that's alright. Has to be a trade-off somewhere. Ooh, big parry. What the frick was that? Holy shit. His attacks factor in a parry and precision dodge base shit? That's crazy. Okay. Let's finish this quick. Fantastic. Quick and easy, just the way I like it. Man, this is so addicting. I don't even think I'm going to play with any other class now. I don't want to play with any other classes. <laughs> I never want to not use a sword. Look at that. I straight up some Virgil shit from DMC. And I never even played the Virgil DLC. I only ever saw the gameplay. <laughs> this allows me to experience it in a way. At least a fraction of Virgil's might. It's for us. I wouldn't put it past Ultima. He's made nothing easy so far. Alright, let's get in there, Clive. Oh, that was a fail. I thought it would launch towards the enemy. This is not as lungy as I thought it would be. Definitely less lungy than this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna end this guy. Alright, let's well, unsheath. Cool. I swapped trees. It's still at three. That's that's insanely cool. So it's still banked. I can really appreciate that. So I can bank it at level three. 
switch to my other classes, use those a bit, and then when I see a huge horde of guys, I just unleash that. That's pretty sick. So in the meantime, and do a bit of this. Get this out. Oh snap! So they can heavy fire. Oh, they got a dancer here. Forgot about this dude. Huge. Even huger. I'm dead. Ow. That really hurt, man. You're trying to kill me here? I get that. I, I, I get that feeling an awful lot. Okay, then. Sound in his ass. that man soft son of a bitch shit these son of a bitch katone i'm gonna cut through that katone okay we'll do that we'll do this we'll do this and now we'll do this i got it saved up Oh no, did he not? Oh shit, did he not do the follow-up? Because I did, uh, man, I did my limit break in the middle of it. I hope he did, I think he did. I don't see you should have limit broke first. Forgot. It's okay though. So I'm getting used to incorporating it into the rest of my kit. Holy shit. Disintegrated that guy. Even more, let them come. My Odinous blade yearns for souls of the weak and wary and poor. This one's bigger than the others. The bigger, the better. <laughs> I love how I love their banter mid fight. Okay, arm of darkness. Let's charge this up. Ow! I'm trying to do something here, buddy. I'm in the middle of something. That. <laughs> Damn it, man. Keep forgetting I have to be closer for that. Shit. Oh, double shit. Okay. Alright, got that charged up. Nice. Not nice. What the flip? Oh dang, this Orcish Warlord is kind of like the uh, Pandemonium we fought, I just realized. It's like, who does this guy remind me of? We fought recently. It's gonna remind me of a dead lad, that's who. That is for damn sure. Do some of that. Nice, big stagger. Big break. Okay, big punch. Let's do it. Let's pull that out. Big Zantazukin. Big flames. All right, Let's see the damage this time. 70k, that's what I'm talking about. Man, Zantazukin is a fucking beast. When you're limit broken. I want to say it increases this damage. I hope it does. Oh, God. Oh, that. Speaking of damage. Jeez Louise. I can never dodge that one for whatever reason. <laughs> oh, nice. You froze him? <laughs> froze him and we broke him. Pull him down. Get these out. Get him dead. Lovely. Man, that was so awesome.
Getting how to incorporate Zontazook in with the rest of the kit now. It's been nothing short of a blast. Akashic army slain. We can rest here if you like. Don't worry. I'll be fine. All right, let's make for that mama crystal. Joshi. Pass into the wall here. The Great Wall of the North. Separating us and the Wildlings and the Army of the Dead. Oh wait, wrong thing in your job here. Look, Clive. There's the crystal. I found that. The place is a fortress. And a fortress we shall conquer. Triton Hollow. Dang, man. Those graves are way too close to that fortress. Jeez. The man's parents were buried. A very dark and gloomy place. Not sure I'd want to be buried there. Alright, let's whip out Ambrosia here. Oh, uh, we're not. Those are fighting these lads. Alright, bozos. Let's do this. Hiya! So it's on to charged up. Ready to go. Awesome. Da -da -da -da. That's a level three. Okay. Now we can do Zontazuken. Oh shit, I'm sorry guys. I realize you can't actually see um, my Zontazuken gauge there. Let me move me out of the way to somewhere a teensy tiny bit better. Uh, hopefully that's sort of good. I'm sort of out of the way from important things. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better. And now you can see how much Zontezuken I have. Three Zontezukis. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I realized you couldn't see this gauge all along. It's a cool, it's a really cool looking gauge, yeah. That's a really cool looking enemy. Shame if something happens to him. Oh shit, I don't have my blade out. Epic fail. Ow. Totally flubbed that. Oh yeah. Oh good, the design is very nice. Glad to hear it, thank you. Wasn't talking to you, buddy. Get out of the way. No thank you to that attack. <laughs> Cannot get over this freaking charge attack. Let's try. Okay. Let's pull him down. Dust him up. Uh, oh shit. So we'll have a ways to go with Zontazook in here. Let it break. Pull it off. Hell yes. Fantastic. I hope. This man's got a lot of HP. Jeez Louise. Holy. Holy guacamole! There's a good boy. Nice. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I do that from time to time. It's not to Zuken. I guess it's like when you precision dodge and then counter. Yeah, let's see. When you have the blade out, that's what he does when you precision counter. Nice, Gorgol's on fire too. 
Okay, let's go. We are worse. We are worse, bomb bomb. Didn't do it that time. We'll see. We'll find out. Uh, that's one of the only bad things about FF games. They have so many menus. Navigating a face cam boss is <laughs> rough. Yep. You are damn right. That is the toughest boss um, in all of Final Fantasy, right? Is the face cam boss. The positioning boss. It's not knowing where to position the face cam. Because of all the craziness on the screen. Be really quiet around here. Except for that one little spot off to the left of this place I just descended from. The gates. Things got kind of heated there, quite literally. Well, this isn't at all foreboding. Oh, nice. Right, it's a fast travel spot. Alright, Ambrosia. Get us through this nightmare. Come on. Whee! Gotta get to the grave. Our graves. On the way to the fortress. Let's make it happen. Tarantula, what are you doing here? Well, you know what? I'm glad you're here. I've been fighting a lot of creepy deepy zombies and orcs as of late, and... You know, every once in a while, it's nice to see a good old-fashioned sight who isn't as terrifying, relatively speaking. Reminds you of the good old days when the world was, wasn't overrun by zombies. Oh, what's up, Joshua? I forgot he's riding a chocobo, too. All right. Where are the greys at? Dude, you, my guy, the, the dude who died and gave us his ring... Like, I mean, yeah, I feel bad and all that she died, poor dude, whatever, but you're kind of like crazy, you know, burying your parents in an area infested with monsters. I mean, I mean no disrespect, but I just have to say it. Thanks, girl. Yeah, that was a chest. I feel like it's going to be in the very corner here somewhere. That's definitely not a grave. That's a firebomb. Oh, we're not even in the zone anymore. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, sure, it is a grave singular. Let's make the burial happen. You'll be able to see all the way to stone here. Final resting place as any man could hope for. Reunited with those he loves at last. I mean, it's got a gorgeous view, but this place ain't so gorgeous, so I'll, I'll tell you that, Clive. To reiterate. <laughs> Places infested with monsters. Aculia. Nice little quest. Sad little quest. Back to it. Let's fly, Ambrosia. Aw, oh, man. When I say fly, I mean really fly. Why do we gotta run into an invisible wall? That is not the definition of flying. Last I checked. Shwee! Oh, that is one big dude out there. That is a big man. I'll kick the said big man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's a single soul remaining here, my friends. There's not a single soul. We are in Death Stranding territory. Directed by Hideo Kojima. You're crossing the USFA. That looks like Iceland and is very rocky and sharp. And grassy, but dark grassy. And infested with the dead.
the calm before the storm. There's only one way into that city. Across the bridge. Through the main gate. Right into the midst of whatever is left of the Lake King's army. Are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Alright. End of the line, for real this time. Alright. Let's do it, Super Rossfield Bros. It's so all come down to this. Drake's Spine. Time to destroy the last and final crystal. The sky shudder over the final mother crystal. A single stone where expands, separating the screams of the capital from its sacred heart. Let's do this. Although I don't know if it's truly the end of the line, because the game hasn't warned me yet about any kind of like point of no return thing. So, we'll see. Definitely getting those vibes, though. I'll tell you guys that. That is very dead. What the hell happened here? I dare not think. A stroke of good fortune, perhaps? I hope you're right. So do I. Jeez. Here we go, Streets of Madness. like that one Sega game, Streets of Rage. The ether has Hearing a lot of rage. Alright. Do your worst. And I'll do my best. So make sure you guys do your worst. <laughs> I gotta do that attack more often. Oh, that, that was literally Zontasukin. Fuck. <laughs> My bad. Ow! Alright, okay, here we go. Let's give him health. Just the way I like it. Now, one thing I definitely noticed is like the raw output of the damage with Zantazukin, or I'm sorry, Odin's Blade, is a lot weaker, but it's there for charging up one of the strongest attacks. It's actually really interesting. All right, here we go. Across this dark, dilapidated bridge. And across these dead bodies, sadly. On some bodies lying down on uh, tomato juice. Coincidentally. Or in some of them lying on grape juice. <laughs> or the Grimace Shake. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Who goes there? Oh, snap. Interesting doggo. That's a behemoth. Who would be mad enough to tame such a beast? That's awesome. That's what the behemoths look like in 16. I forgot we haven't faced off against them, I don't think. Jeez. Look very similar to the behemoths from Stranger of Paradise. Whoa. Keep hurting Joshua as that shield. <laughs> that OP shield. Can tank a lot. There 
sure he is. Well, what are we waiting for? For it to make its first move so I can precision dodge it. Hopefully. There we go. Oh, man. Fuck. I wish I precision dodged that. That would have been such an epic moment. <laughs> that would have gone so well with my setup there with the commentary. Comment. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Ah. Dodge right into that. Ow, oh, jeez. Behemoth, can you stop being a bully? Bully behemoth. I'm charging up Zantazukin here. Let's go. Let's get that out. Alright, awesome. Let's unleash that. Okay. Look at the satellite. Dang. I've been able to nail down the timings on his dodges. Or his attacks, sorry. I can dodge him properly. Alright, let's go. Let's pull him down. Yeah, he's a big boy, Clive. He needs to put some muscle into that. And some ice into this. Alright. Nice too. Right, let's get fiery. Let's get Heaven's Cloud going on there. Flames of Rebirth going on there. Very nice. Aerial Blast. I don't know what the hell is happening right now. But clearly this thing is taking damage and that's what's happening. That's what's important. Zonk the Zookin charge. Ecliptic Meteor. I don't like no meteors, especially of the ecliptic kind. Oh. Holy shit. This, yeah, this thing warrants a cutscene. That's gonna be like, that does not look like a normal attack. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, God. That's just like the Black Mage limit break in 14. Yeah, true. Black Mages do conjure meteors like that. Are we actually... Hell yeah, that was an epic line right there. Yeah, don't forget, little bro. I'm your shield until my last breath. That hasn't changed one bit. Holy, that's a wallpaper right there. My god. Oh yes. <laughs> Let's go. Why would you turn to him, brother? Phoenix 2? Are we gonna fuse? Again? The heck is gonna happen here? I don't think that's a good idea though, Joshua. You should sit this one out, buddy. When we fight, we fight together. And that's epic and all, but dude, you gotta sit this one out and get some more in slices. But oh, fuck it, this is too epic to sit this out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was pretty dope. No, he didn't actually fuse. Probably for the best. <laughs> That's exactly what Ultima wants. That was just the beginning. Alright. Back to it. Yeah, that was just the beginning. <laughs> He's not even in halfway. All right, coming in with a black blade of Bowden. Nice flash of steel. Holy guacamole. Time to go ham. Hiya! Fantastic. 
Okie dokie. Hey, yo, what's up, Stan Cobble, aka Clive? So you're doing a great job taking this guy down with your brother. Oh, snap, let's go. Oh, shit, let's not go. Okay, I gotta whip out the big guns. Some of those, some of these, some of those. Fantastic. Some of that. Nice. Let's charge up Santasuken again. Always have a Santasuken handy. God damn it, I got a lot of damage soaked up there. Not for long. Huge dodges. Ow. <laughs> Bitch. Nice. Very nice. Okay, there we go. Santazuken. He's back in town, guys. Rarer than the McRib. I'm gonna punch this guy's McRibs. For a limited time, I got Santazuken here. Alright. Let's turn up the heat. Put up the ice. Even more heat. That is a very big dog. Very huge doggo. A huge doggo of huge proportions. Let's get windy. Let's pull up Santazuken. Stop is happening. Very good things are happening. Let's go, Heaven's Cloud. 67k. Let's fucking go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's not what I'm talking about. That's what you're talking about. And I'm going to precision dodge what you're talking about. Another meteor. Oh, you bitch. Oh, but those are bitch meteors. <laughs> Little baby Ikea meatballs. Okay, hold on. Whip these out. Ow! Oh my god, fucking bad time. I went down to like zero point. I don't even know how much HP. I'm not even going to think about that. I don't even know how I'm still alive. <laughs> Literally one HP. Let's not make that happen again. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's a pretty bad idea to make that happen again. <laughs> that was really close, dude. <laughs> that was closer than close. Nice, broke him. Welcome some more. Alright, come on. Let's end this. No, I don't have any ability to end this. Heaven's Cloud. I'm gonna make this look cool as shit. Oh, I think there's gonna be something scripted. We can't beat him yet, maybe? I don't know. Extinction? Yeah, it's scripted. Let's go. Wait, or is it? No. I don't know what the hell's happening. Okay, there we go. Triumph is happening, I suppose. But not too much triumph, because otherwise it would have played the victory fanfare. All right, that was pretty sick. I think that was the first time we fought a behemoth. I don't know. I feel like we might have fought one of these before in this game, but I want to say no. Just because there's so many giant cat dog type enemies. But I want to say it's the first proper behemoth fight in 16. I like the design of behemoths in this game. Quickly, before we're cut off for good. All right, let's go. Rossfield Bros. Snagging another W. If it is like the others, the entrance to the inner sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. Yes, the big fat almost for the capital A.